Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks update video. In this video, we're covering the update as of today, which is 0.8.16. As always, we'll go over new features and changes that we made and finally we'll test a few of them out here in the world of Stormworks. Now, if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and if anything else you'd like to see in my future videos, why there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and make a little bell icon to be notified in my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this week's update. So to start with this week's update, of course, the last two updates we've seen are major components that have been added, especially the new seats along with that pipes and also the new rails that we've got. This week, it's a little bit toned down. We've got one new component. That one new component is going to be the angular speed sensor. Now the angular speed sensor will measure or detect rotational velocity around the axis that it's facing. Uh, pretty much what that means is it's going to measure from one angle to another angle and how fast you get there. Uh, now this can be used for several different things. Obviously you can use for um, your planes to measure the difference, uh, uh, how fast you're obviously swaying from left to right or banking. Along with that is for boats. Uh, you could use it for when you're capsizing, how fast uh, how fast you're actually listing. Uh, that is one another solution that you could use it for. Um, but I'm sure that obviously the community and you guys are kind of coming up with a whole bunch of different ways to maybe use this in the future. Now, as you can see, we have the component here. Uh, if we go into the workbench itself, uh, you can pretty much find it with all the other sensors. If you scroll down, uh, you'll find it just over here. Uh, angular speed sensor, as it says in the name, the sensor outputs its current angle in milliseconds or meters per second, sorry, uh, allowing you to measure how fast your vehicle is rotating. Pretty much straightforward as it is. As I don't know how useful it's going to be. I've got to come up with a couple different ways it could be used to start off with. It has one regular angular uh, speed output. That's about it. I've gone and attached it just in my little rib here uh, or speed boat. Pretty much you can see here it's facing frontal, which means that it's going to measure in positive how fast we're going to the left and how fast we're going to the right if we start swaying uh, or banking left and right here. I've got it linked up, up to just to a dial so we can see it here in the example. Uh, so spawn in just once again looks like a regular just sensor uh, at the front of the boat here we're just gonna get in we're gonna get turned on and started you can see here we're measuring at a 0.1 to 1 depending as we sway left and right uh, let's just go and get up here and let's just get going a bit so you can see it's starting to move and if I'm going to sway to the left you can see it's gonna go positive I sway to the right you can see it's got positive as soon as you start angling out and you're not actually moving any angle uh, then obviously the sensor will become a zero but as soon as you start swaying around the lift you can see it's moving left and it's moving right and it's very clear here uh, so you can kind of measure how fast you're going left and right depending which is going to be quite useful as I said uh, I can see this being used in planes maybe some helicopters uh, even boats uh, depending on what type of like stabilizer slash ballast system you want to try and pull off uh, whether that be to prevent capsizing or even try to make it your, your ship capsize uh, that is going to be quite pretty interesting uh, to see what that is but anyway that's pretty much about it for uh, this week's update there's whole, been a whole bunch of fixes uh, a nice longer list which is obviously great to see as always uh, every week the devs have been obviously really trying hard to improve on the game's performance and also any bugs that are outstanding which is really great to see uh, and it's cool they are slowly just adding in these new components uh, which obviously add to the value of the game so that's it for this week's update if you want to see a full list of changes and fixes, make sure to go check out the announcements in the official Stormworks Discord server. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, found it somewhat entertaining and informative as always, and we'll see you in the next one.